friends and welcome back to another video we're jumping very quickly into this because i just went to the grocery store and i'm starving but this came in the mail and i want to open it <laughs> or i designed some wooden pins oh it has a pull thing i designed some wooden pins and they just arrived and i haven't seen them yet and i think they're gonna be really cute they're for my next shop update which will hopefully be when this video goes up i really hope so What? It has a little seal rippy thing, but there's, it's, it's also still glued again, so okay, that's fine. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, it's come in two packages, even though I ordered three designs, which is interesting. Not sure how that's gonna work out for me. Oh, it smells like laser cut. Oh, okay, so they're all they're all mixed together. That's fine. It smells like laser cut. Very strongly. Which is quite a nostalgic feeling for me. Please, hello, focus. Focus? Focus? Not my face. Focus on the pin. Look at the bunny. Oh my god. It's so cute, this little pin. And then we have this design, which I have to peel the little thingy off. But this one is an Animal Crossing inspired pin. Um, I really wanted to do one based off of the Lily of the Valley. So we've got this one. Which says you're five stars because you get these Lily of the Valleys on your island when you get five stars. Oh my god, this one is really cute! This one is a red panda with a little knife. It's based off of the emote that I made for my Twitch stream. And it says take care of yourself or else, and it's so cute! It's so cute! Oh my god! Alan! Come here! Come here! Oh, cute. It's cute, right? Cute, I look nice. And then I made these two, too. Yummy. Your five stars? Yeah. Cute. It's based off of Animal Crossing. Cute, cute. Yeah. It's so cute. I'm so happy. All right, I'm going to go cook my food. But, yeah, cheers. Anyway, uh, welcome to the studio vlog. <laughs>
Hello friends, I just finished painting this little painting that I think is going to be the Patreon print postcard, Patreon postcard for February. It's a little froggy and then in a paper airplane. And I tried a little bit of mixed media. It's got um, watercolor and acrylic wash because I got some Holbein acrylic wash. This primary color mixing set. This one. I really wanted the 12 set, but Blix didn't have it in stock for weeks and I finally didn't want to wait anymore <laughs> so I got the five color mixing set which is fine I guess I'll probably eventually buy the 12 but I also okay friends one of my big goals for 2022 was to um, try tabling uh, somewhere um, because I thought it would be like good experience and you know people do cons and stuff and um, so New York, there's this, <laughs> there's this pop-up in Queens that happens, I don't know how often they do it, but you know, it happens eventually, once in a while. And um, they, they, they uh, basically, I just put down my deposit for a table and I am so scared. <laughs> I am so scared. Friends, okay, if you're in the New York area, it's going to be in Jackson Heights, Queens on February 13th. There's one on February 13th and one on February 20th. I uh, put down uh, the deposit for a table on February 13th. It's from 2 to 7 p.m. I'm probably gonna make another video about it because uh, you are all gonna forget by then, but it's fine. Um, anyway, yeah, I guess I'm doing a thing and I'm so scared. I also just bought my first um, like little the square chip reader thing. Um, so that people can pay with credit card because that seems useful. I'm also going to need cash, which is fun. But yeah, I'm so scared. I have no idea what I'm going to bring. I have no idea how I'm going to set up my table, but I'm sure I will figure it out. Um, yeah, that's that's the update. I have no makeup on. Today's a painting day. It was just supposed to be a chill painting day. I was going to paint this one, which I did. I, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like um, some of the contrast could be a little better, but it's fine. Uh, I, I did this one. I was, I'm gonna paint this one later. This sketch later. And I have this other sketch. You know, I've got, it was just gonna be a chill painting day and now I am so stressed. I am so stressed. All right. All right, that's it. That's, that's my update. Um, hopefully it will be fine. I don't have, really have to think about it for a while. I'm gonna first work on the shop update and then work on figuring out this whole pop-up thing. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I, I don't know how to reiterate how scared I am. <laughs> like, people are scary. Um, talking to people is scary. Being on as in, like an introvert for five hours is going to be hard. But I feel like Twitch probably, streaming on Twitch has probably kind of helped train me for that. Hopefully. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, I'm scared, but I'm going to do it. And hopefully it will be fine. And hopefully I'll make back my money, because um, the table costs $180. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, alright, that's it. I'm going to go back to painting now. Yeah, we did CD, and then... Um, oh no, but somehow they got divided. Oh, you did DC, and then C5, and then D5. Hello friends and happy Friday. Um, we've almost gone through the work day. I, no, not the work day, the work week. <laughs> we've almost gotten through the work week and I finished a couple paintings this past few days that I would like to show you. So, one second. We did this painting, which I filmed most of, I think. Um, but it is a little froggy on an airplane. I think it's turned out very cute. It's very pink. It's gonna be the Patreon print, I think. No, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm about to order it. Um, it's the Patreon print for next month. And then I also painted this, which is a little froggy knitting on a nice spring day, hanging out with a bee friend. I think it turned out very cute. Um, this kind of is a dual purpose painting. It's both um, a Secret Santa painting for my stream friend Zevi, Art by Zvesta. I will post her, actually I'll post her links down below. Um, but 
Yeah, it's a little secret Santa. It's very late secret Santa for Zevi, but also it's gonna be a print in the shop. I think it turned out really, really cute. Um, I feel like I give off froggy vibes and Alan gives off bee vibes because I am the crafter and Alan comes to hang out <laughs> while I craft. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's really cute. I'm very happy with it. And then also, I really wanted to paint something for snow day. So yesterday I spent the whole day painting this and promptly forgot to film any of it. Classic. But this is how that turned out and I think it's really cute. Um, it's Red Panda and uh, Wolfie building a snowman and a tiny little froggy with a giant scarf bringing a carrot. I think it's so cute. I'm gonna film like a b-roll thing so you can actually see it better. But yeah, and we also finished stream today. I've been having weird problems with my iPad. I'm not sure why, but it stopped screen sharing, um, airplay sharing on Tuesday in the middle of my stream. Well, actually, I'm near the end of my stream, so it was fine, I just ended early. Um, but I couldn't get it to work today. So I had to like use my camera to film it. Like, with my capture card, it was very odd. I don't know what's going on, but we did finish a very cute sticker sheet on stream, so. At least we did that, but I gotta figure out what's up with my iPad. It might just be that it's too old, because it's from 2017, and so that makes it a five-year-old iPad, and Apple does that thing where they, like, make parts of their older products obsolete when they um, update their OSs, so that you have to continue, continue to buy their products, which I think is pretty shady, but also it's not illegal for companies to do that, so... Yeah, anyway, it should be. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, but I finished the sticker sheet. I'm gonna show it to you. It's so cute. It's a little Valentine's Day sticker sheet. Um, I need to kind of format it and stuff, do my usual thing. And I'm also gonna work on another sticker sheet today. And what else am I doing today? I think that's about it. I think between the two sticker sheets, that'll be it. And we're in pretty good shape for the shop update. I'm pretty happy. I was a little worried, but actually I've been like kind of putting stuff together slowly, um, admin wise, which is very boring so I haven't been filming it, but we've been making good progress. There's gonna be a, it's gonna be a pretty big shop update. Which is good. Yeah, so I hope you find stuff that you like. Um
it is about time for the end of this vlog. Um, I just have two things that I wanted to talk about. The first thing is somebody asked in my last vlog about how I make my hollow stickers and I thought I would just quickly give you a rundown. I kind of showed the process earlier but I thought I'd quickly give you a rundown. I print my stickers on um, some matte sticker paper, just regular weather uh, weatherproof matte sticker paper and then I bought this hollow vinyl. Let me grab it. It fell on the floor, but I bought this hollow vinyl. It comes like this, and it's got two little hollow stickers um, off of Amazon. I can link it down below. And what I do is I basically just, after I print the stickers on my regular sticker paper, I um, laminate the uh, sticker paper with the hollow vinyl, and I use it. Uh, I use. <laughs> I actually use my laundry card um, to smooth it all. I was using my 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 bone folder at first, but it doesn't work as well. Use a credit card. It's it's much easier. And then I cut it like normal. I um I try to trim off the uh the vinyl around the uh, registration marks for my sticker cutter just so I don't have issues with the registration, you know, because you know, sticker cutters can be kind of temperamental. And then and then you get cute hollow stickers like this and and this um i would say the only thing to note is that um one the lamination process uh just to laminate the uh the paper just with the hollow vinyl can be a little finicky sometimes so i had to do quite a few practice runs and i still mess up sometimes so that's kind of annoying and then the other thing is that it will mute your um, colors a little bit so like this is actually a lot brighter um, when you print it on regular paper like for example this is the same design not color adjusted this one is brighter than this one um, and it's because this one has the hollow vinyl on it but for me the trade-off is worth it because look at how shiny it is it's so sparkly and I love sparkles and then the other thing is that um, again I am doing the tabling on February 13th, I will have the information linked down below for location and stuff, but I'm tabling on February 13th from 2 to 7 p.m. in Jackson Heights, Queens. If you're in the New York area, please come hang out. I am so scared. <laughs> I, will be have, I will be bringing a bunch of, you know, Valentine's Day goodies and also regular fun goodies and yeah. And then again, my shop update is today, so I hope you go check it out. Here are some of the things that I made. Again. Hollow boba, hollow tiger, you know, and then also matching stickers to go with my pins. This one is the dumpling one. This one is the your five stars one, and then the wooden pins that you saw at the beginning of the video. I also made these little red envelopes for Lunar New Year. These are printable, so you can print them at home, uh, mostly because I can't mail them to you in time because Lunar New Year is next Tuesday. Um, so yeah, if you are giving out red pocket money, first of all, give me some too. <laughs> and second of all, you can you can give them out in these little envelopes. This one is sized for gift cards. Um, I don't know, just in case you want like a gift card size. And then this one is sized for the regular US dollar bill. It's a, uh, which might be a little small for euros, so you maybe, I don't know, can use this one and just fold it up and it'll be cute. Up to you, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. I have this sticker, the take care of yourself or else sticker. It's glitter. I love it so much. Like I, I words cannot express how, how, how much I love this sticker. It's, it's so cute and so aggressive and you should take care of yourselves. All right. And then, uh, what else do I have to show you? I've got some new sticker sheets. I've got a Lunar New Year one. And I've got a Valentine's Day one, two new sticker sheets, I think they're pretty cute. We worked on this one on stream, and then this one I did on my own time. It was pretty fun working on it. I, I really, I'm really excited to be making art that has more to do with my identity as a Chinese person, because um, I grew up in China. For those of you that don't know, I lived in China from when I was 7 to when I was 13, so I grew up in China. and. Um, for a long time I was kind of hiding that part of my identity um, in my art because I didn't want I didn't, I, I didn't want to make like Chinese art I wanted to make my art but like 
being Chinese is part of me. So I'm, I'm excited for this growth and this, uh, this new chapter where I am less hesitant to show that I am Chinese in my work because, you know, uh, I've dealt with some anti, you know, just, just racism in general and microaggressions and stuff in like high school and etc. So I've just, I'm, I'm excited about this growth for me. I hope you are excited about it too. So yeah. Um, and then what else? What else? What else? What else? I have, I have some cards. My desk is a mess, just so you know. I have some cards. I have this little froggy airplane card bringing you some flowers for Valentine's Day. Um, all my cards come with envelopes and they're all blank on the inside, just so you know, so you can write stuff, stick some stickers on it. This one is dirty because I used it to uh, take my photos. I will not be mailing you a dirty one. I will be mailing you a clean one, obviously. Um, and then again, the Gong Ji Fa Tai card, coot. And then these, uh, these, these I love you like my love rice cards that are based off of a old classic Chinese song from I think the early aughts or late aughts called Lao Shuai Da Mi, which means my love rice, and it's a love song. It's adorable. I sing it all the time to Alan. Um, he's probably sick of it. And then I got some prints. <laughs> There's so much mess. We got some prints. Froggy plane print, cute. Froggy rainbow print, also cute. These are mini prints. And then I have this big tiger bomb print because I thought this was funny. And then um, these two prints that I showed showed earlier for painting. Well, I showed the. I think I showed. I showed some of the painting for this. Maybe. Not much of this, but you've, you. I showed you the the actual painting. So you know. And then uh, what else? What else? What else? I was gonna make some more stuff. I made some clay goodies. I made this little dumpling that I think can be a magnet and this one, but I haven't listed it yet. I'm not, I haven't, I haven't decided, okay? I haven't decided if I should list it. I guess you will find out by the time this video is up. You will know whether or not I listed it. And I made these little dumpling charms that I think are really cute for like earrings. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> as of this moment I'm also I'm not listed yet. Also I made the zine. Nice ways to spend a day. I think this turned out really cute. Um, it's a little fold up zine, kinda like my dumpling zine, illustrating some nice ways to spend a day if you're a little froggy. And then if you unfold it it's the, that same froggy print. Um, but you know, it's like been cut. But I thought it would be fun. I like doing the like surprises on the inside. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I was going to make some more goodies yesterday. I was planning on painting some notebooks or um, working on uh, some little crochet goodies. I did attempt to crochet a dumpling. I was going to put a little face on it, but then I decided that it looked really dumb. I tried making a bigger one. The bigger one looks a little better, but I still think it's a little dumb, so I didn't end up making them. And then instead, I ended up having a little bit of an anxiety meltdown, which, you know, happens occasionally, so I made this comic. So, yeah, it's a little sad, <laughs> but um, I, I try not to post a lot of sad art in general because I don't want my art to make you feel sad. I want my art to make you feel happy when you're having a bad day, you know? Oh, also my pins. I like my pins a lot. <laughs> Excuse me while I just self-promo and talk about bad days. Um, you know, my pins. I, I don't want my art to make you feel sad, but I showed Alan my little drawing and he said that I should share it because it might help you feel less alone. So yeah, and I posted on Twitter and people seem to like it, so. I'm glad, I'm glad my anxiety doodles can help you too, um, if, if they do. And if not, you know, I have plenty of happy art too. Uh, so yeah, please again go check out my shop update, I would appreciate it so much. And if you can't purchase anything, that's also fine, just like, I would really appreciate it if you shared it with your friends or um, on social media and such, because that is how I make my living now and I need money to pay rent and buy food. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video vlog situation. I think my next video is going to be not a vlog. I feel like I, um, 
I'm gonna make a dumpling making video. I'm gonna make a dumpling making video. <laughs> and, um, you know, we're just gonna have to get through the next, we're gonna have to get through the shop update, get through the tabling, and then, and then I, I can craft and make fun stuff. I'm really excited. I wanna make fun stuff. Hopefully the shop update goes well and then I can take a little bit of a break and make some fun, non-monetized stuff. Incredible. I hope, I hope that's in the cards for me. All right, I'm done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up my desk. I'm gonna finish editing this video and I will see you uh, very, very, very soon. Thank you so much for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. And yeah, goodbye friends.